how do I get over the anger or how do I get past wanting revenge in my healing process? Woo, I tell you, am I the person to talk about this one? Really, man, you don't, you know, like I didn't quite get over anger. You know what I'm saying? Like people think that when I talk about uh, uh, working on my anger and everything that I somehow got rid of the anger. And that's not the case. You know, I, I'm a human being. I'm allowed to be angry. The whole thing is that you got to use that anger in a positive way because ain't nobody wanted revenge more than I did. You know, when me and uh, Carla Fagan had split and everything and I, and I found out of all the evil things that she was doing and I found out about her telling people things about me that were not true... Oh, of course I wanted revenge. And I and that revenge was me lashing out on this YouTube channel. Um didn't, you know, that didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. It didn't feel good. It it felt good to vent and everything, but instead I ended up getting into a new relationship and that that smear campaign was worse. And ironically, like I I defended myself, I did what I did to, in order to clear my name. You know, and I felt like I did a good enough job and and at this and all this and that, but I don't find myself as angry with this one than I was with the first one. Um I mean I was angry, but I, I, I started working on it. What this past relationship has taught me was that maybe I should start working on myself more than, you know, trying to get into another relationship and looking for people to give me that feeling of love that I didn't get from the last relationship. Like I realized there was some things that I needed to work on for myself. You know, anger was the main thing. And it's something that I've been dealing with as a, you know, I've been using as a coping mechanism over the last 20 years in order to deal. Because the truth of the matter is, is that when you get hurt, your heart broken, you're sad, you turn it into anger. And I learned this from a friend of mine, um, shout out to Linda. That anger is really just, a, you know, like a cover up for sadness. The difference is that when you're angry, you feel like you're powerful. You feel like you're stronger. You feel like, you know, a lot of men specifically, you know, won't admit to being sad, but they'll rage out and they'll get angry because it makes them feel powerful. Because when they admit sadness, they feel like they're weak. Then people look at them like they're weak. And uh, so when you're angry, it's like it makes you feel powerful, it makes you feel strong. And then people, when people think that you're sad, they want to ridicule you. But when they know that you're angry and you're pissed off, they're like, all right, stay away from this dude. He's about to explode. The thing is, you got to use this anger as a tool, a motivational tool to do the things that you want to do to get yourself into a better place. Mentally, physically, uh, financially, all that stuff. You got to use that anger. And the real revenge is you leveling up. Now, this is something that I really learned because I really wanted revenge on Carla Fagan. I wanted revenge on the last broad. <laughs> and um, I don't want revenge on any of them anymore. I don't want. You know why? Because I'd rather just be happy. That's the key thing. The th key thing is to work on yourself. The best revenge is living a happy life. Because when you're, look, when you're genuinely, genuinely happy, genuinely happy, like the things of the past that once bothered you don't bother you anymore. That's the place you want to be. That's the place you want to be. That's what it's all about. This whole thing is all about getting to a place where you are at peace with yourself. You love yourself. You're happy. You're doing the things that you've always wanted to do. You're treating yourself good. You know, I always say love and respect yourself. Um, you're at that place. That's what ultimately the goal is. And when you, when you do get angry, use it as a motivational tool to go out and work out even harder. To go and, um, you know, make that money. Me, I've used it as a motivational tool to work on my fight business. I, I am a fight promoter. I promote an event called NYC Fight TV. Um, I use that as a motivational tool to go out and go hard on my events. And the last event was super dope. So now this next event is going to be even better. We got better matchups, uh, you know, better ticket sellers. And that's what it's all about. That Like the anger that I do get at times... I no longer lash out with that anger because it's not healthy. What I do is I vent it out in a positive way. In a positive way might mean that I'm at the boxing gym pounding the shit out of a heavy bag. That's the positive way for me. Because at least I'm pounding a heavy bag and not getting into a street fight where I could potentially get hurt or I could potentially get arrested. You understand? Um, 
you got to you have to feel these emotions. And people have this thing where it's like, you know, they want to ridicule and come down on you for being angry. Being and being angry is normal. That's a part of life. You're allowed to be angry. But what you have to do is learn how to control it. And this is something that I've really had to learn because when I get angry, I'm coming for your head. I'm lashing out and I'm I'm going all out. Because in my heart and in my mind, it's like I do such such good for people and then People have the fucking balls to ridicule, go out and smear my name, talk shit. And in my heart and in my mind, I know these same people would never step in front of me and say to my face because I would knock the fuck out of them. Right? Right? But hear me out. I can't, I can't think like this anymore. Who gives a fuck? These are unimportant people. The people who, who take advantage of your kindness and your good nature and your, and your good heart, fuck them. They lost access to you. Listen, these people want nothing more than your attention. So when you get rid of that attention from them, you win. Now focus on you, okay? You think to yourself, they did this to me, they did that to me. Oh, they got away with it. They might have. But don't think for a second that they're living this glorious, happy life where they're uh, doing so much better than you now. It doesn't matter because these are unhappy people, unhappy people. You want revenge because you've been hurt. And you feel like these people should get the same kind of hurt that they dealt to you. Yeah, they probably should. <laughs> they, mo they definitely should get that same kind of hurt. But these people are hurting every day because they are miserable. They might not feel like they're hurting, but these are angry people that just, they, they're constant victims. They think that they always have the shit end of the stick and that they deserve so much more, but they burn bridges. They leave a trail of destruction and... In time, they get figured out. And after a while, nobody fucks with them anymore. Just be a good person. You want your revenge? Continue to be a good person, right? Be a good person, but take shit from nobody. But don't lash out. It's not worth it. You know, anger, holding on to anger is like holding on to burning coals, waiting to throw it at somebody. And the only person that's hurting and burning is you. Because you're holding on to this coal and it's burning a hole in your hand, waiting it to throw it at somebody else so they can get burned. Meanwhile, that person is not thinking about you and you're the only one that's burning. Right? But don't worry. They come back around to see what you're doing. Do good. But do it for you. Do good for you. Channel that anger into positive energy. Use that rage that's inside you because everybody has it. Right? It's not just a narcissistic thing. Everybody gets that rage in them. You know, people cry. How could this person do this to me? How could they do this to me when I was so good to them? Right? You have that rage inside of you? Use that fucking anger. Use that rage to channel, channel it into something positive that's going to blow you up and make you into the best version of yourself that you could possibly be. Because you deserve that shit. No more focusing on your anger on this piece of shit who decided to take advantage of your, of your good nature, your good heart. No more focusing on them. I went dancing salsa the other day. You think I'm focused on shitty people who who have done me wrong? Who gives a fuck? Fuck them. I was angry at one point. And then I realized me being angry at somebody is not making me happy, right? But when I go out and I go dancing with my good friends, Abby and Angie, when I go see my people, when I go see my cousin Jay out in uh, Staten Island... You know, when I go hang out with my friends, when I do my photography, when I uh, talk to the, the matchmaker of the fights for my show, Anthony, you know, when I'm talking to my sister from another, Mr. Adrian, when I'm doing business and everything, and I'm in that mode where I'm just like focused and, and then I see the end result and that end result turns out even better than what I expected. My God, that's the kind of high that, that just, that fuels me, that makes me realize there's so much more importance out there than dealing with thinking about the past. Now, you can think about the past, but don't let it consume you. I let it consume me so much that I even responded to, you know, some fuckhead who keeps creating videos about me. I kept responding to his videos and making shit. That's not fucking important, right? I kept uh, trying to defend myself last year, you know, against somebody who, who turned out to be a chameleon and a shithead. That I have no respect for now and, and I don't even regard as a, as a good person. Right? I'm mentioning these things now as an example. But the truth of the matter is every day I wake up with a purpose to try to get better in life. To try to see things differently. To not lash out with the anger. 
you know, to not lash out like, oh, yeah, I'm going to, you know, you hurt me. I'm going to fuck you up even worse. You know, what does that do? Does nothing. Learn to deal with your emotions, face them, and then vent them out in a positive way. Because when you do and you truly get it out of your system and you realize that in due time, as you keep venting this emotion, you start to care less about the thing that hurt you. If it helps, seek therapy. There's nothing wrong with that. I went to therapy. I went and spoke with a, with a therapist and, and had sessions where a lot of my anger had to be dealt with. You know? And I put my shit out on Front Street to let people know, listen, I'm a human being. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of these fake-ass coaches that go to... I'm not a coach, by the way. I, I'm, an, I'm a content creator on a YouTube channel, but I'm not going to fake like I have everything figured out. Meanwhile, you know... The, some of these coaches are getting, uh, you know, figured out that they're narcissistic and everything and, they're, and their lives are more fucked up than anything. People know that I had issues with anger. People know that when I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you and I'm going to expose you, you know. And I'm trying to show people and lead by example that I'm changing that way of thinking, you know. Somebody else, um, another person's revenge a revenge on another person, it doesn't mean shit to me. Because if I'm not happy, it didn't matter that they that they got their just due. It doesn't matter. We got to learn how to separate ourselves and realize that we dealt with shitty people and now we have to take care of ourselves. And a lot of this, the reason why we keep getting into relationships with shitty people is because we keep trying to fix other people. And we keep trying to look for the good in other people. And when we realize these people aren't necessarily good, they're shitty, abusive people that just want to use you. They don't want to change. They just want to be taken care of or they want to be enabled. They want to be abusive. And then we, we get angry and we have the right to get angry, but we didn't do the work to, you know, tighten up our boundaries. We did not do the work. I'm an example of this. You know, I was with... The narcissist that I've spoken about for so many years, I got into another relationship with a person who used me for my money. At some point, you got to look at yourself and be like, you know, there there is fault here. It, I, I am at fault here because when red flags were being shown, I bypassed them. You know, the abuse is not your fault. I tell this to people all the time. Don't ever fault yourself for the abuse that you take, Right. But at some point, look at yourself and say, I, I have to start looking at red flags and stop feeling sorry for these people. And I have to move forward and start focusing on treating myself good and being kind to myself and doing what's best for me because I've done so much for other people. That's what you got to do. We often get angry because these people, you know, have hurt us over and over. And at some point we do, we do allow it, you know. And this is not to blame the victim or anything like that, but you have when you break out of this relationship, take the time to heal. It's worth it. Take as much time as you need. There is no timeline. And people ask me, how long does it take to get over anger? How long does it take to get over a relationship of this type? There is no timeline for it. Each person is different. But do what you have to do. But work on feeling the emotions in the very beginning and then venting it out in a positive way. Don't get angry and then go outside and pick a fight with somebody and then go beat somebody down and get yourself arrested or get your ass kicked or get shot and killed. It's not worth it these days. Focus on yourself, right? You know, um, go and work out and become like the super stud that you've always wanted to be. Or for the females out there, go out and work out and become a super hottie and get, get sexy for the summer, and treat yourself good and be confident in yourself. And when people say to you, oh, look, you're being so narcissistic, you've changed. Be like, yeah, fuck it. Because, because people, when they see you change for yourself, they're going to get upset. They're going to be like, you've changed so much. Yeah, I changed. Good. You're not going to use me anymore. <laughs> yeah, I changed. I'm not going to take your bullshit anymore. Yeah, I've changed. I don't look at you the same. I think you're a joke. You know what I mean? Channel that anger into leveling up. It, 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 I know it sounds cliche when people like level up your life. It truly is the only way because when you take care of yourself and you're at a place where you're happy and that happiness is not dependent on somebody else's opinion, whoo, you're free. You're free. That's the truth. You are genuinely free. 
So that's what I got to say. Josh Different. We've spoken a few times, brother. Um, I'm proud of your uh, growth. I have answered a uh, question for you before. I'm proud of your growth. You're looking strong, brother. I see you working out and everything. Um, you've given me a couple of tips. I'm going to get to it because uh, after having COVID and getting sick a few times, I've, I've kind of gained some weight back. But, uh, you know, I went and uh, got me some supplements, bought me a couple of 30-pound uh, weights, dumbbells to, to work on and, uh, and everything like that. Getting back to it because uh, I want to look like a sexy papi chulo. Do you know what I'm saying? I got the sexy papi chulo face, but I just need the sexy papi chulo body. I'm just joking, y'all. I am going to work on myself, though. Um, but focus that, that anger on leveling up. Focus that anger on truly fixing yourself. Get angry and be like, I'm not going to allow this to happen again. So what am I going to do? I'm going to fix the parts of me that allowed this to take place. I'm going to tighten up on my boundaries. I'm not going to let anybody walk all over me. And I'm certainly not going to let anybody control my emotional responses or anything like that. Right? Take care of yourself first. Use anger as a motivation. But don't lash out. Don't use it as a way to hurt other people. Because in the long run, when you hurt other people because you're hurt, you're only hurting yourself. All right? So with that being said, it's your boy, JC. I'll talk to you soon. Um, I am, like I said, guys, before, I'm going to be posting more videos of me doing cool things and salsa dancing and everything. Because I posted that video um, yesterday of me, Angie, Abby, uh, well, only of Angie dancing. But it was like a quick video. And you guys liked it so much. And it's a positive video because it shows me in my goofy element. It shows me enjoying my time. It, it, it doesn't show me being in a state where I'm angry and everything. It shows me loving the moment. And that's what you got to do. You got to love the moment. You got to be in the moment. You got to be happy. Listen, when you leave a narcissistic relationship or a relationship with a toxic person, whether they're cluster B, whether they're bipolar, whether they're whatever they are, whatever they are, when you leave it, right? Essentially, you are free, but now you got to give yourself the permission to be free. You don't need these people. You don't need anybody. If create the life that to live that you are so happy that if you die tomorrow, it's like, oh my God, that was so dope of a life. I'm content. So with that being said, love and respect yourself. Love y'all. Thank you guys so much for the um, support. I'm getting a lot more subscribers recently. Um, and that's super dope. And I will be doing videos on my photography because I think people have really enjoyed the photos that I've been posting. And I'm grateful for that. Um, at the same time, like, you know, with everything that happened to me, I'm in a place right now where one, I'm not angry at anybody anymore. Um, and the la that last phase was me being angry at myself for allowing things to take place. But I'm not angry at people anymore because people are just being who they are. And now I see them for who they are. Now it's time for me to focus on who I am and being a good person, helping other people, giving people motivation and, you know, living a happy life that's filled with laughter, um, some dark humor, jokes, um, and all that good shit. Love and respect yourself. I love you all. Take care.